Welcome back, collective. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I love you, and I'm so glad that you're here. Um, I have a message for you, so we will just go ahead and pray, and then we can get straight into it. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you, Jehovah Jireh. We thank you for being our provider, our king, our peace. Thank you, Father, that the worst is over and the best is yet to come. Thank you, Lord God, that you make all things new and you have washed away all things from the past. Thank you. We love you, Jesus, that our lives are a testimony to your word, your works, and your greatness. I pray that you would speak to the inner parts of each and every one of us, that you would help us to see and understand the specific message for us in this, and that you would lead us and guide us according to your truth, according to your honesty, your integrity, according to your word, Jesus. I bind and rebuke all demonic energy, every toxic energy, every evil eye, every witchcraft spell, every lurking and obsessive spirit trying to cause demise or deformation of character. I bind and rebuke all slander. I bind and rebuke all hateful energy being projected to myself or the collective, and I return it to the sender. I thank you, Father, for positivity, for gifts, for love, for honesty, and for most of all, for your gifts, uh, your spiritual gifts, and the purpose that you place within us. I pray that you would move according to your own power, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Okay. Hi, collective. So I have another message for you. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was drinking something. <laughs> um, the message that I have for you, I did try and I was clarifying a little bit just so that I can have a better understanding of like what this is, um, why this is still kind of like going on like this. So, um, the energy that I'm getting, it's just like someone sees you as coming across as being very wounded. You could be very hurt about something, um, going through certain battles, just nonstop over and over and over again. You could have fought up to nine battles. Um, but it's like, you know, you're being seen as like not giving up. You could be very weary of this battle, but it's like the courage and the perseverance and the persistence in you is truly being seen. This person looks at you like you are a spiritual leader, you are a spiritual healer, or you're leading people to a space of healing. Um, you know, whatever it is that you have gone through, the Holy Spirit is saying that these battles that you have been continually, you know, being resilient and not giving up, you've been standing your ground in this, you could be very drained, you could be very fatigued. Um, but this has everything to do with a personal time of growth. So it's like, this is going to create a new wave of spiritual healing and serenity on the inside of you. You know, um, ironically enough, it's like all of the wounding that you've been through will actually aid to this high vibing spirituality, your hope, your, your healing, your cleansing, all of that. Um, it may not seem like it now, but you're definitely going to be grateful and appreciative of your blessings in every lesson that, you know, you've had to go through. Clarifying the nine of wands, I got um, Jesus. You're in your life purpose. So this is why, you know, like you're going through spiritual attacks. You're not giving up. You're very resilient. You are fighting for something that you truly believe in. This could be you protecting something that you built. This could be you really fighting for a cause. This could be, you know, you standing your ground in regards to something that you know is true or it, this is worth it for you. Um, but this is a part of your life purpose. You know, to stand your ground and to really protect yourself in this, to be persistent, persistent, continue fighting the good fight of faith is what I'm hearing. Um, clarifying, you know, your spiritual gifts and your spiritual healing, you're being led and guided. You're actually being cheered on by your ancestors. You have guardian angels that are really assisting you. They want to assist you in pouring into your own healing, pouring into yourself to really continue this growth and then clarifying 
that i have abraham and isaac this is going to aid to the growth of your spiritual your spiritual gifts so you know in regards to your spiritual inheritance it seems as though the temperature in the fire you know the temperature and just the situations you've been dealing with has been cranked up just a notch or two and that is because you are in your life purpose there there are things that are happening within you right now where people are wanting to persecute you for a truth that you're speaking um there's something that you're doing that could be very unorthodox it could be something like never seen before it could be something that's really drawing crowds it's also drawing um, a lot of haters. It's also drawing a lot of, you know, people wanting to accuse you and wanting to tear you apart and wanting to plan and plot your demise and whatever. This has everything to do with your spiritual gifts. There's a spiritual inheritance that you are, that you have received. And this is going to increase the vibration and the faith of this healing gift. So there is a blessing. This is like through spiritual inheritance of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, there's an irrevocable blessing that's been placed on your life. And it's through this inheritance that you received through your love with, um, you know, in this communion with the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, this person is seeing this and they feel like, you know, all of these things it's like even though you're wounded even though you've had to fight a good fight you're you're in your life purpose even though you know like you are this healer you have to still continually grow you have to still contin continually be tried in the fire or in the fight or whatever it is you have to continually because of the level of anointing the level of spiritual gifts and anointing that you carry um, you are being seen as someone that's very creative. You, you have creative visions. You are very inspirational, you know, like you operate in creativity and originality, even on an individual basis. So it's like you find creative ways and new inventive ways to entertain yourself, to make yourself feel good. You know, like you are very artistic. You have an artistic talent that it really carries over into your confidence, your charisma. You know, there's a lot about you that just creates this brave leader. You, you know, like you know how to take risk and you're very good at expressing your passions. You know why? Because you spent a long time really considering the things that make you happy, the things that you want, that you should be fighting for, that, you know, like how you want to be perceived, how you are perceived. There's a lot that goes into that, um, you may also have this really romantic way about you when with the way that you love in relationships. You may use a lot of this charisma and this confidence to translate this over into your relationships. Like if you're in a romantic partnership or if you're expressing love or giving or exchanging love with someone, you have no problem just standing in your power and your authority and really pouring love into whoever that individual is. And this person is really thinking about this right now. It's like your artistic talent talent for creating something beautiful the, the most out of the most unlikely situation is something that really has whomever this is paying close attention to this they feel uneasy about the future um this person is like battling their inner self or whatever This person could be really um, worried about you being upset with them. This is someone that could have tried to use mind game tactics to control the connection. This is someone that really wanted to bring this contrasting light versus dark energy into something like in regards to your um, leadership, your success, your business, you operating something, being in charge of something, you know, standing as this confident leader, being brave. Um, someone could have wanted to hold you by some type of like unhealthy attachment, or there was some type of anti-destiny energy. And now this person feels like you're going to use all of your creativity and all of your, your talents, your bravery or whatever to, I don't know. They feel like it's going to be difficult to get to you now. 
this person feels like they kind of made some limitations on their own. I have the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. There could be something about your achievements or you winning and like you having this great news and just expecting more. Like somebody could really just be obsessing over this or worried that you're angry about something or I don't know. This is freaking played out. This, um, I have the nine of pentacles. So somebody is just obsessed over this wealthy energy that you have, you know, like you're never lacking fresh oil, you having this infinite supply and you continually making these accomplishments. Somebody could want to say that you did something with magic or they're just enamored by your energy. I have the will of fortune and clarifying that is magic energy surrender. So it's like you have so much success. Somebody is really obsessing over this. This could be a tormentor or a sociopath. This could be an ex-partner. This could be, you know, someone that you just knew or whatever. I don't know. But I pray for your divine protection, collective. You are divinely protected away from any type of tormenting or sociopathic energy. I bind and rebuke all unhealthy attachments from your life. And I pray that you will continue to move and walk in a destiny, purpose-driven life. In Jesus' name, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. And every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you have the right to condemn it. That is the heritage of the saints of the Lord and our righteousness is in him. You have the right to condemn that. And it's like the will of fortune is turning in your favor. And I have um, Archangel Gabriel. So it's like you're going to get a direct message. You're going to feel something spiritual, a very, very high level spiritual message coming to you to let you know to stand in your optimism and to stand strong. You are the winner and you're doing twice as better than you were before. There is definitely going to be a positive change in your karma and um, in the outcomes of your situations. It's like success and blessings are on the way to you. There could have been some magic energy that really wanted you to surrender. Someone could have been really doing something. Like I said, like if you have an ex toxic partner that um, you separated from a while ago, you know, this could have been a false twin flame or somebody that you thought was your twin flame or you thought you were supposed to be with or whatever. This person could have really hurt you and abused you. And it's like you walked away peacefully and they're still trying to do stuff. And, you know, I want you to know this is not your fault. This is not your fault. You have someone, they could have even stolen money from you. They could have stolen a lot of money from you. It doesn't have to be. But there's definitely someone here that's really trying to cause hardships for you. And they have been for a long time. They've been trying to do some type of word magic or whatever. They want you to surrender to this demonic energy that they're putting out. This person could even be trying to pray and do wicked things against other relationships or um, other things that are connected to your destiny. And this person wanted you to surrender to this. Archangel Gabriel is saying that your, um, your way of non-aggressive of control you properly using your power and holding back from this situation you have definitely created a quiet influence in this thank you holy spirit yeah um the divine is giving you the courage to really just continue to hold back and then i have the empress And then I have Samson and Delilah down here too. So, you know, this very well could have been someone that was out to learn what your secret was to your success or the secret to your gifts, or, you know, this is someone that wanted to act as though they were interested in you, or they wanted to date you, or they wanted to be in a relationship with you, but to hurt you or to do something to take, you know, energy or to do something or whatever. Um, but yeah. God is saying, you know, be optimistic and stand in faith. Yes, you are the winner. And if this person, you know, this ex-partner or whoever this is, 
Um, this could have been somebody that you were just seeing for a short period of time. You know, this person is still not over. I'm hearing bitterness. This person is still not over the fact that you were able to take risk, that they wanted you in a difficult situation. They wanted you battling your demons and you're not. This person has a very unhealthy attachment to you and they are definitely in an anti-destiny energy. When they cause some type of traumatic situation to happen to you in the past or whenever you broke up with this person or however this went down, this person was really hoping for, you know, things to go bad for you. But it's like you have this infinite supply and they can't, they cannot, you are a free spirit. You have developed everything that you have, you know, accomplished and achieved. And it's just like, you've earned all that you have. This is bringing judgment to this person. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, so you're being guided to, you know, hold your ground and stand your beliefs or whatever. Don't allow any of this demonic energy or any of this negative energy that this person could be trying to send you to take you by surprise. You know, you are someone that is naturally loving. You're naturally assertive. You're not aggressive in a way unless you're being really, really pushed. But it's like you are fulfilling your life purpose and you are, you know, relaxing in, in allowing things to just naturally unfold and allowing God to bless you as he has, as he sees fit. You know, this this is very mature of you to be in this way, to be in this energy. You could be a business owner or you could have multiple investments or multiple, you know, different businesses or whatever. Hmm. Somebody could have just, um, you know, like these attacks and stuff like that. This is somebody that wanted you in some type of fear and anxiety. They wanted you in a mental overload and where you're needing to recover from something, you know, like where your spiritual awakening becomes stuck. And then that's the end of that. And this is what they wanted. And it's just like, this is crazy. I return all black magic and all witchcraft back to the originator and back to the sender. We cancel every demonic attachment, every assignment sent to project negative and hateful energy to cause you to fail. I call it null and void now. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. So it's like you being in your um, life purpose. I'm seeing this with you being in this weary energy where you've just fought many battles. This could be going on for a long time. And, you know, you're not giving up. The Lord is saying that this is definitely going to bring balance to your sweetness, to your intuition. It's going to help you to really come into a better space within yourself. This is going to increase your spiritual um, the spiritual gifts or whatever part of it that needs to be accessed so that you can have the fullness of your spiritual inheritance so that you can have the fullness of, you know, being a part of, um, you know, being engrafted into Jesus Christ. I don't know why this keeps coming up. I don't know why somebody would want to like feel this way about you. Like why there's so much like weird energy with this. Like somebody is just like really obsessed. It's just exhausting. Um, dang, man. Yeah. This person feels judged. They feel like they're going to have to surrender to a higher calling because, you know, um, balancing your sweetness and your intuition, this is like someone was expecting, you know, this weariness or for you to be so wounded to not balance you, but to make you turn in the reverse, to make you, um, you know, like them wanting you to surrender to the magic, the word curses, the pro projected energy, the hate, the whatever. They wanted you to surrender to a lesser vibration. However, it's like because you are so you're so sweet, because you're so intuitive, because you're you understand things very quickly. 
you're a wounded healer. It's like you have these spiritual gifts. This um, level of suffering or this level of, you know, short-term suffering or being wounded or feeling like, you know, you're going through this. This was supposed to change you into something. However, <laughs> Oh, okay. So it's like somebody wanted to change your character. Like, it's almost like, okay, well, if you're going to walk away from them, then they want your character to change or to be seen as something or whatever that it's not. This person feels like if you're going to be adventurous and you're going to be getting away quickly to go towards your passions and you're going to be taking action towards the things that you want and, you know, having fun or, you know, coming in and out and doing this or that, or having these opportunities to whatever they saw you in this energy and doing that, they knew. Hmm. Yeah, it's like somebody was hoping that your character would change or that, that something would change because they knew that you are in your life purpose. And if you haven't fully stood up in it, it's like you are revealing the truth of who you are now for the entire world to see. This is no longer you in and out of a certain energy, like you are st stabilizing your vibration. And that's just period. And it's just like, if you've taken risk, this is going to really pay off for you in your confidence, in your charisma. I have Samson and Delilah. So you had someone that was really, you know, faking like they were interested in you or they wanted to, you know, date you or they wanted to be a part of your life or something like that so that they could learn what the true source to your power is. You know, this person knows that you take these risks and you're brave, you're this leader, you're having all of this long-term success and you've had these great results and the things that you've done. This really makes them feel like you're difficult to get to now. Like they feel that their hands are tied because yeah, this person was trying to spy out to see like what you're doing or who you are or, or where your gifts come from or where your power, your strength comes from. And I have the King of Pentacles. Um, so it's like, this is because you're enjoying your success. You've been having achievements. You've created a safe place for yourself. You know, you've evolved, you've grown, you're in a very calm and peaceful space. You could have switched um, and transitioned into self-employment where you're grounding your life and you're really cultivating things that you find beautiful. Like, you know, um, this person could see you as being very stable and loyal. Like the fact that you are enjoying yourself and that you're bullheaded, like you could be a, a earth sign. You could be dealing with an earth sign. But, you know, this person really just wanted to, they wanted to learn, how are you gaining this wealth? How are you having this pleasure and this beauty in life? How are you, how are you able to cultivate, cultivate these things and create this safe space? I have John the Baptist at the bottom of the deck. This person might look at you as someone that's very different, very weird. You could be like a loner. You could be someone that um, you like to keep a distance away from large groups and large crowds. You're just really not one with the crowd. You um, you have, you know, like really just kind of very charismatic things about you, but you are very, you're very direct. You're very honest. You're very open and you're a very radical truth speaker. You could be someone highly intuitive. You could be a prophet or a prophetess. You could be someone that dreams dreams. And it's like, you know, without a shadow of a doubt, what you saw in the interpretation of it, you know, you could be someone that stands in a strong truth and wisdom and knowledge. And just based on your experience, there's things that you've seen and that, you know, and it's just like, you stand on this truth and you're, you know, this person could really see you like that. But they feel like you're going to live in the present in regards to feeling like, you know, they, they were, um, wait, what is this? Oh yeah. They feel like you're going to look at them like they either, 
was trying to control your leadership or try to control you because of, you know, you, what you do, or this person was cheating, or they wanted to put you in a toxic relationship, or this person was just manipulating and wanting you in this anti-destiny energy. This could be many, many things, but this is dark energy here. This is not someone that would come to your face and do any of this. So this is like hidden manipulation. This is causing war behind the scenes. This is word curses. This is, you know, causing confusion and just a lot of dark, dark energy. And it's like this person knows that this energy, they did this because of your wealth, because of your accomplishments and your infinite supply, because you're, you're winning right now. They feel like you're going to live in the present with this. You're going to continually, you know, see this as something that would be a toxic bond or an unhealthy, unhealthy contract, you know, like... This person feels like you're going to take a new opportunity. It's like you're going to want to start something new. Or like in the present moment, you know, they could feel like you think you're too good for them. And I have Daniel. Clarifying um, success hunger, caution. This person feels like you're going to live in the present with who they were. If this is somebody that stole from you, you're going to always see that. If this is somebody that cheated on you, you're always going to see that. If this is somebody that was trying to lead you against your destiny intentionally, you're always going to see that. If this is someone that tried to get you fired from your job or that lied on you or that really wanted to play sociopathic mind games because you're, you know, you have talent and it's just like, this could be someone doing anything, getting drunk with friends and then harassing you and stalking you and trying to hurt you for a joke or for a laugh, whatever they could do to make this work, to make your business, to make your success unhealthy and toxic. And it's like, because of it, the will of fortune is really changing in your favor. You were already plentiful. You already had what you needed. And whatever was being done, it was being done with the intention of you surrendering and just saying, you yield, you give up, you're done, you're tapped out, you can't do this anymore. They wanted to change your karma. They wanted to change your blessings from um, abundant, you know, and plentiful to lack and deficient. And now it's like, now that the will is turning in your favor and you surrender to the energy of God, what, what God had done for you. This success and this hunger, this person feels like they should have been more careful. You carry the anointing of Daniel. You are someone that is, you know, not only seen as a value within your own kingdom or within your own land and your own people, but the enemy would definitely want to kidnap you and force you to work for them too kind of thing. Like you would be the type of person to, you know, hear that something's bad is going to happen and then really seek and pray and ask God for, you know, the answer answers for the situation and for the answers. It's like the way that you hear from God, will, it really wows people. You, you know, like God put this level of, of prophet, um, this level of, of prophecy and knowledge on you to display his glory. It's for his namesake. You know, it is for God to be seen as the one and only true and living God. So it's like this person should have been more careful. They felt like they wanted to win something. They wanted to do this. They wanted to make you surrender to something. And they felt really hungry for this. And they should have been more careful to avoid danger or risk or to really hurt or to do more damage than they wanted to. And then I have fool. So this person just feels like they were curious or their curiosity and their open mind just kind of made them an attentive. This is somebody that just kind of like went with their gut. With this Daniel energy too, this is like, you know, Daniel was accused of many, many things. He had enemies trying to take him out just for praying. Daniel was praying and they were trying to have him murdered and killed. And it's like he was thrown in the fire and there was a fourth man in the fire. It wasn't just him, Ashak, Meshach, and Abednego. There was a fourth man there. There was an angel of the Lord. Some say it could have been Jesus Christ himself. I don't know. But the angel of the Lord at camp around about you, collective. And the Lord is going to make sure that you are 
are protected. There's another situation too where Daniel was praying for help. Daniel was praying for help and it seemed like he wasn't getting an answer. It seemed like he wasn't getting any help. And he continued to pray and pray and pray. And when the angel got there, the angel told him that he was held up by the prince of the power of the air. He was battling with the devil. The devil was trying to hold him so that he could not release this blessing to Daniel. So even if there's a situation where there's things that you have been waiting for and have been held up, just know that God is releasing it because God already heard your prayer. He already knows that you have been suffering long, that you have been battling through this. It's like one opponent after the other. You get one enemy after the other wanting to end your courage, wanting to end your passion, wanting to end your confidence or your business or your success or wanting to stop something that you have going on. You have people that are wanting to date you just to find out the source to your power. And it's just like, Daniel, I saw, I just saw 30, 30. Daniel was thrown in the lion's den, was starving hungry lions so that he could be mauled and eaten alive. Daniel was burned. He was put in a scorching hot furnace. He was castrated. This man had no wife. He had no children. He had no one. but his anointing and it's like every enemy on the planet wanted to take him out i have ultimate pain and suffering like the worst is over with this five of wands this competition this jealousy like people wanting to just be in opposition with you just to hurt you just clash and like stalking you and like trying to do things to throw you off or to project hateful energy to you or calling you the devil or saying that you're this and that like somebody is like beyond discouraged they want to let this go i have the lion of judah somebody was thinking that you know like yeah if you're this business owner and you have been relaxing you've just been trying to allow your inner strength and your maturity to just let things to just naturally flow you've been protecting yourself god is saying the lion of the tribe of judah is here to give you some relief to come to your aid Yeah, you're no longer going to be suffering in silence. You're no longer going to have to worry about being discouraged or dealing with busybodies or being weighed down with problems. You know, the line of the tribe of Judah is coming. He's going to remove you from being in two paths or trying to figure out which way to go. Or um, if there's a change that you need to do or you need to stay or go or whatever. Yeah. The lion of the tribe of Judah, this energy is here to save you. To cause this change so that you're not dealing with too much. Yeah. If you were being held to something... your meek and submissive nature. So it's like you being meek and submissive just automatically makes people feel like they can exert their desires or their wants over you. Or it's like they don't have to show you any level of respect. They don't have to respect your space or your boundaries. There's nothing to be intimidated or afraid of. Like this um, can really, you know, stir up a tormenting an antagonistic energy in people if they feel like oh it's easy to torment you it will be easy to antagonize you or you know to just do certain things um these people are feeling this 
some form of threat in the future. With you pulling your energy back. Isolating, just not being easily um, able to access. Somebody's really worried about you using all of your resources to kind of like I don't know to move forward and just make things happen for you. There's like been some space, there's like some fear and anger here that just really has somebody like sleepless nights over this partnership. Mm. Yeah. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I am going to leave it there. I pray that you guys are doing good and I pray that you are at peace. All right. Okay. Like, share, subscribe. Love you. Bye.